What's up guys, this is Merc Music and welcome back to X Defiant. It's actually so nice to be able to play and record a game that genuinely makes you happy. Since I woke up this morning, I've been excited to play and record this game. I love it. Especially because the beta has actually been having some progression issues. So what they did is they actually unlocked everything for us. At this current moment, we have access to every single gun and attachment in the game. Now this might just be my account, but I'm still experiencing some progression issues where even if I make a custom class, it's not gonna save it. And Gloppenboopin has been permanently stuck at level six. But honestly, even with those weird issues happening, it just makes me wanna play the game more. I swear to God, I have like muscle memory for it. Like I've memorized how to build this before every single game because I have to. You'll see, even though I'm going to be making this class right here, it's going to be completely wiped. The second we go to matchmake, look, it's saved. It's right here. Custom loadout three. This will be gone the second I go to look for a game, which by the way, we're going to do some payload. Dude, I've been so addicted to this game. I swear. X Defiant really does bring back the OG Call of Duty feel. You have custom classes and you can choose a variety of guns and play the game a variety of different ways. But at the same time, it's not overly complicated. Like there's no gunsmith. There's no weapon tuning, which actually just kind of makes your guns worse, but there's still a good variety of attachments to kind of change things up. When you're looking for a game, you have an old school kind of like menu. If you've been watching X Defiant videos, then you already know. I mean, we've got map voting. There's no skill-based matchmaking. There's red dots on the minimap. We essentially have Black Ops 3 specialists and abilities and ults and stuff like that. It's just, it's so much fun. Okay, yeah, we got some people. I was a little worried. I saw some stuff on Twitter about there being server issues and not being able to matchmake, but I think we're going to be good. Which, by the way, if you guys do enjoy this video and you want to see some more X Defiant stuff, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see some more stuff like this. What's actually been really nice about this beta as well is that I don't feel like I'm going into this game with the mindset of like, oh yeah, this game needs to kill Call of Duty, you know what I mean? Because realistically, it's probably not going to happen. I mean, Call of Duty has been like the most popular number one selling game at basically every single year, except for when like GTA 5 came out and also Elden Ring. But as far as it goes for competition with other FPS games, it's probably really unlikely that anything is really going to kill Call of Duty. It's kind of got that whole too big to fail thing going on. But I kind of had like this epiphany over the weekend because I wasn't just playing X Defiant or just playing Modern Warfare 2. I was playing both of those games as well as Battlefield 2042. And I think the reality of the situation is that these games are going to compete with each other, but I don't think either of them are going to kill each other off just kind of seems unlikely and unnecessary but the competition is good i think what x defined is going to do really well is bringing back that classic call of duty feel and nostalgia whereas the current and newer call of duty games are just going to cast the widest net possible and try to bring in as many players as they can and basically do a bunch of different things at an average rate just like a modern warfare 2 it's got a dmz mode but it's not better than tarkov it's got warzone 2 it's got battle royale but it's not better than other br games and it has 6v6 multiplayer but i think a lot of us could argue that the 6v6 multiplayer from Modern Warfare 2 is not better than other games, even other COD games. Hopefully it saved the class. Yeah, it didn't save the class. Look at that. I've got to make the build right now. I usually try to make a couple of builds before everything starts up. There we go. We got that class. We should be good for that. I want to make so many classes, but I can't do it. Try to rock the P90. I've apparently seen some stuff that if you put a lot of like speed attachments on the SMGs, they just go crazy, but I literally don't have time for it. And the game is not currently saving things. What's actually really interesting about this beta is that it does have its issues, which makes it actually feel like a beta. A lot of video game betas really just feel like demos. Like it's just there to kind of market and hype up the game. And basically nothing is actually going to change up until launch. Whereas with this game, there actually are some issues and it's things that they're currently working on while the beta is going. It has been extremely refreshing to see Mark Rubin be so open and transparent about how this game's progressing. And it has me very hopeful for how the game's going to turn out. God, it just feels so good to move in this game. I love playing it. Ooh. No! Oh, the kill feed's still not working for me, dude. Sometimes it does work and sometimes it doesn't. It's so weird. I love seeing Glop and Boopin pop up, but it doesn't look like it's gonna happen today. I mean, even if we check the scoreboard, it's just nothing. I don't know why the progression stuff is not working for me. I know that it's something that they're still trying to fix during this beta, which is crazy. They've made improvements to the servers and like the netcode and the desync issues and stuff. They're trying to work through the progression, which is exactly why we can unlock and use everything right now. But for some godforsaken reason, I cannot level up. I can't save my classes. So it does make it a little hard to play. Oh my. Oh my god. Please peek. Broken the feed, please. Nope. Stop with your healing. No! That could have been such an easy quad feed, dude. Dude popped his healing ult while sniping. I love playing the dude that has the firebomb. It literally got me my first quad. You do a little bit of extra damage with the fire rounds, but you don't get as much health and like the healing that the Libertods get, which is obviously like the most meta thing in this beta right now. But you can just do that. Light them on fire, stupid campers. What's been really fun about this as well is that I'm not playing with controller. I'm playing keyboard and mouse. I'm trying to get better. I'm kind of thinking that a big part of that has to do with the fact that Modern Warfare 2 has such ridiculously strong aim assist. It's been kind of like holding my hand the whole time and I'm kind of tired of that, which kind of ties into what I was talking about earlier between like playing Call of Duty X Defiant and Battlefield 2042. I feel like when it comes to playing these games, I'm probably going to play them for different reasons and I don't want any of these games to die. I think all of them should compete in the same space and offer something unique to us. I still feel like Battlefield games have an incredible sandbox and a lot of variety and it can lead to a lot of really awesome moments. 
oh my. At least with Modern Warfare 2, I feel like it's kind of weird because with the strong aim assist and really stupid cheese stuff that's still in the multiplayer, think of like the KV broadside turtle classes while using Survivor, like absolute noodle brain type behavior. All of that really cheesy stuff exists in a game that still has skill-based matchmaking. For typical casual public matches, it just really doesn't make sense. Like the skill-based matchmaking should be there to make it feel like the games are more even, but really it just protects those casuals from having to play against people who are better than them. So that way they can just have their dumb fun and enjoy the game, which I don't fully agree with, but it's just how the games have been, which is kind of why I've been enjoying playing ranked play on Modern Warfare 2 more because it takes out a lot of the BS and you're actually being rewarded for playing those sweaty matches. I'm not dog shit at Modern Warfare 2, so I'm not playing against people who are more casual. Now, if I turn my brain off and I don't try as much on the game, then yeah, I'll probably get a couple of fun games here and there. But in terms of what I want out of Call of Duty, I mean, this game is filling that void. It's filling that gap. We got some fast modern movement without it being too spammy or too annoying. No SBMM for public matches. So it actually feels like there's some variety in the gameplay. It's not like all sweat. You get some matches against people who are insanely good and some matches against people who are not very good. We gotta step on. Oh, it's over. Try getting there, man. Even though we lost that game, I was still doing pretty good. You can see that there's more variety in here in terms of like how good people are doing and how bad they're doing. We've also got a little bit more variety in the factions that people are picking, which is really nice. I know there's a lot of discussion about the healers being too good, too strong, and I kind of agree. They did take away that passive healing trait though. So I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. The only thing I found slightly annoying about the healing faction is just the fact that it leads to a little bit more inconsistencies with like how fast you kill people, getting hit markers with snipers and stuff like that. But I don't really feel like it's that bad. But that's the thing that's nice about this game is that if there are balance issues and things that people like and don't like about the game, they can have an open and honest conversation with it with Mark Rubin on Twitter, and he will most likely reply to you and say what they're feeling and thinking about the game. Instead of leaving the community in the dark for months! Woo! Speaking of meltdown, we can pl Ooh. I'm gonna vote random. Yeah, my classes and stuff are still not saving. I do want to try to mix it up and use some other guns though. Although I really do love that ACR build. I kind of want to try the MP7 with like really fast attachments. So I'll have to edit this class, dude. <laughs> At least you can edit the class mid game though. That's great. I'm gonna use the Mark Rubin suggested build. Barrel extender for the muzzle. Yeah, super light front rail. Okay. He says fast mag. Collapse stock. I think that might be better. Still trying to figure it out, dude. Oh my, oh, it's there. There we go. Okay. We're attacking. So I'm gonna use this. Oh, I'm so fast. I actually haven't used the MP7 yet. So I don't know how good it's gonna be. Oh, that's recoily. Okay. Oh, I don't know where that nade came from, but dude, this is pretty good. Like you're still able to move so fast in the middle of the gunfights. Almost all of their team is using healing and shields. This is going to be gross, but we're still going to try. Oh my God. That's nasty. Let's go. I don't hear anyone. Never mind. Oh, it's so good. Nope. No, he put a shield down! You fuck! I almost had the quad feed, dude. I've never even used this gun before. Oh, the movement is so nice with it. I think I'm faster than if I'm holding my pistol, because I haven't put anything on the pistol. They're probably going to get set up in some camping positions, I'm sure. Oh, I'm just zooming. I love it. Yeah, keep trying to camp. We'll see what happens. Oh, can't be stopped. No. Okay, I can't be stopped. <laughs> I feel like especially playing keyboard and mouse, like I get so into it. I feel like I'm like bobbing and moving all around and shit. It is so satisfying and rewarding. I swear to God. I love it. I love it so much. Nope. Okay, I did not move enough there. That was the problem. I've got this newfound mobility. This guy camping up here too. I know you are. Where'd he go? Oh, what am I doing? Jesus Christ, what was that? Okay, we're good. This is like my second game on too, so please don't judge too much. Oh! Oh my lord. Oh, like you can't beat it. Like they can try to sit back with their ARs and stuff, but the second they get caught off guard, it's so difficult for them. I love it. And I have nothing against any of the weapons or weapon classes in this game. It is thoroughly fun to use everything in this game. I think I might need to try playing some of the other factions too. Like I feel like I mostly play the dude who has like the purifier from Black Ops 3, shoot like fire rounds and stuff, and I've got the Molotov. I haven't really played too many of the other factions, but I should really try them out. Oh, what the? I, okay, I don't know why I just clicked off screen. That was weird. I really do hope that the team can get all of those like tiny little weird things and like bugs fixed with the game. I really enjoy the game and I feel like I'm going to enjoy it even more when it's fully out. Iron out all of like the weird bugs and things going on with the game. I think it could really be like a perfect old school Call of Duty feeling game. Dude, I'm driving these guys crazy. <laughs> They're having such a hard time tracking me, but they're still killing me. I like how you can kind of slide sideways too. Like the movement is just so good. Oh, I cannot shut up about it. Why did I put that down? I didn't mean to do that. Ooh. 
Ooh. Of course, you're just sitting back there. I can't, I can't beat that. Shreds them up close, but once they start to get far away, <laughs> it gets tough. I'm gonna kill these guys. We cleared them out. We cleared. Oh, come on! We gotta get this. 20 seconds. Oh goodness. Step on. I can't step on. Ah, we lost that. It's so close. All these payload games could be so close. You lost, and yeah, I'm mad about it. <laughs> the dialogue is pretty great in this game too. How did I actually do? Okay, yeah, 30 to 18. I was killing it. Didn't really move the payload much, but that's because I was just trying to flank them and make it easier for our team. I had the best damage in here, even if I didn't have the most score. That MP7 class is already gone. Now, honestly, I don't know why this is the case, but whenever I play payload, I feel like I'm always attacking. Like I have barely had the chance to defend in this game. I think I've literally played like one or two games defending in payload. What are we going to build this time? I'm like half tempted to try the LMGs. I haven't really used them. Oh, the RPK has a lot of damage. This is basically what I build for the ACR as well. We'll have to see how this goes. Midway Escort. Oh, this map is awesome. I love this map. This one would actually be great for an SMG on offense. I'm pretty sure I might have given this feedback as well when I played the insider session for X Defiant, but I really wish that with Payload, you would be able to alternate playing on offense and defense and like play best of three, kind of like Safeguard in Black Ops 3. I think that would actually just make this perfect because sometimes you're waiting for a certain map in game mode, but then you don't get to play on the side that you actually really like playing on. I think it would just add for a lot more variety. Yo, we got a 75 round RPK. I hope this thing's good. Oh, it's slow. I feel really slow now. Oh, goodness. This might not cut it for offense. I'm going to give it a try, but I don't know how to feel about it. Also, <laughs> try camping our spawn. <laughs> yeah, if you try to camp people spawn an escort, you can just kind of sit back. If they expose themselves, then you can shoot them, and you'll actually just heal automatically. Don't get spawn cheesed by people. Don't let them do it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I don't know if I can use this. It's not terrible, but it's going to be a lot better if you're playing on defense. Wait, this thing's even stronger than the MK20? Sign me up. We're going to make a movement speed DMR. This should be really interesting. It's not fully built for max speed and stuff, but I think it could be pretty good. We've got our lightweight SVD. I've never used this thing. I don't know if it'll actually be good, but that one other marksman rifle was pretty good. Oh, oh, I don't like how it feels already. Ugh. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's kicking. Maybe it's because of how I built it. I would definitely try to experiment more with attachments and different builds, but since I can't save anything, it's really hard to. Ooh, but that was good. Oh! Oh, I like that. Oh, I really like that. Oh! My aim was so bad there, but we got a quad feed. Let's go! Okay, I like this thing. <laughs> it's basically a two-shot. The fire rounds make it even easier. <laughs> I have been flashbanged. Oh my goodness. Modern Warfare 2. Please no. Let's use the P90. Gonna try to build this one for speed too. That's what's also not great about not being able to save classes is that you're wasting a lot of time in spawn, not really being able to do much of anything. But it's a beta. What are you gonna do? The game's gonna have some problems. It's not gonna be perfect in Schlag, but quite yet, but it's getting there. Now I have used the P90 before. I liked it. I'm just trying a different build, a speedy build right now. I don't know if it's gonna be good for this section though. Oh my, I was flying, I was flying. That jump off of the ledge, I was able to just like move so much midair. Crazy, man. Come on, bro. Oh, oh, teammate got a nice, oh, ah! All right, I'm gonna do something I haven't done this game and actually touch the payload, stop being useless objectively. Come on, lads. That somehow killed him, okay. You trying to run away? I don't think so, buddy. Ooh! Nope! Ooh! I'm busting out the purifier. Let's go. Oh, this is a bad time to use it, isn't it? Ooh! Ooh! Another quad! Let's go! Oh my goodness. Oh. Dude. Oh, I was popping off at the spawn, dude. Come on, move the payload. Oh, my heart's racing, man. Player level eight? Wait, there's no way I'm going to be level eight. It has not been remembering anything for me. Don't tease me like that. Come on, blood. We're gonna move it! No, they got that stupid firebomb thing. We're good though. We're good though. Yes! Woo! 
That's what I'm talking about, boy. Dude, our team popped off at the end. That was amazing. Cleaned them out with the purifier. Was dumping on them with the P90. Oh, I love it. See, it finally paid off. I'm pretty sure... I was not player of the game. I actually did have more escort distance. This guy did more damage, though. I think he got more score and more kills. But, dude, I still did pretty good that game. Shout out to our bottom player, though, actually, because he was the best objective player. Honestly, that dude's the only reason we actually won the game. I mean, he tanked his KD. He went 5 to 19, but he had the most objective play. Shout out to that guy. We would not have won that game if we didn't have teammates like that. I'm, like, so tempted to use the AA-12, but I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to start introducing the shotguns quite yet. <laughs> Stop the package. Okay, finally, I get to defend. This is a rare occurrence right now. Oh my goodness. I haven't sniped in a minute, dude. This is gonna be bad. I suck. Was that a hit? I, yeah, oh my god! I'm struggling this game. I might switch to like an LMG or something. I'm gonna be a cheese ball. I wanna snipe, but I don't wanna let the whole team down. This is the Mark Rubin LMG special. I'm using the executive producer builds here, okay? If he says it's good, it must be good. And if it's not, then I just suck. All right, there we go. We got the M60. I haven't used this either. Gotta get set up here. Oh my lord. Oh! Oh, that's strong! Not as strong as this guy. What the? He gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> Dude, people get so salty when you kill them and shit. They react to like certain emotes. It's so funny. If I ever react to someone's kill feed, it's an accident. Like I accidentally misclicked on the keyboard. See, this is actually really interesting. Like this game right now feels a lot sweatier than the last ones I played. But it's good though. Like I like the challenge. How are they about to get that checkpoint already? Come on. No, no, no. Come on, man. What the f- Half their team's playing healers, dude. I mean, it's tough. This is a tough one. That is what's really tough about using, like, an LMG and certain builds that are too slow, is that you can't get away from shots fast enough. Like, when you go from a really fast SMG movement build to something that slow, you can really feel the difference, man. It can be painful. Don't have the heals. I'm so screwed. I can't aim fast enough. I'm, that's, that's what I'm telling you. And we're at that point in the game where I can't really, like, take time to build a new class. Other people who are in here who have their classes saving have a massive advantage, honestly. They got a minute and a half. They're getting it closer. It's looking bad. See, I wanted to defend really badly, but then we're playing against a team that's actually, like, really good. I wanted to defend against a team that's not very good. That would have been nice. Because <laughs> I already know from experience, when you get a game where you're defending against people who aren't very good, you can get so many kills. Oh my, okay, he used his ult. Jesus Christ, they're gonna move it! No, come on! Don't let him in! Don't let him walk it in, don't let, it. Oh, okay. We're contesting, this is a big moment here, come on! 99.5%! We're holding him, oh, let's go. Team's coming in clutch, let's go. Yeah, right, buddy, the extra health. We got it. That was a close game. Look how close they had it, dude. They were so close to getting that, but we held them. GG. I was still somehow the best in here. I don't know how, dude. I don't really know how to feel about that M60 class. Like, it was okay. The gun itself is not terrible, but in certain situations, especially like trying to clutch up defending the payload and stuff, not very good. But it wasn't terrible either, you know? It really does feel like speed and fast movement will dominate this game, though, for sure. And as someone who primarily likes to rush around and play aggressively in Call of Duty, I love that about this game. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play some more X Defiant today. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more OG Call of Duty stuff like this, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Now come,